Hi there, this is Alex Dude. I'm making a short video. For those of you who want to create a Microsoft Rewards or Bing Rewards or Inbox Dollar account or Swagbucks, at some point you're going to have to do an SMS text verification. This is also true with other uh, accounts such as Twitter um, and maybe like you want to get a job with DoorDash. I'm not sure if this is true anymore, but I'm just, this, this is just me Googling some stuff. Uh, DoorDash, you need uh, SMS text verification. Uh, and over here, it mentions that PayPal, Google, YouTube, Facebook, and WhatsApp require an American or Canadian telephone number for confirmation purposes. <coughs> and so um, the question is, why can't you use voice over IP text? It's kind of, I think the main reason is just because uh, it's easy to do and you can spoof that you have a you know a phone number in the United States even though you're in another country and so they want to you know companies like the ones I mentioned want to make sure that you're inside the United States so that's my theory of why they f force voice over IP uh, or don't allow voice over IP texts and so <clears throat> this does affect people in the United States who don't have a phone you know a cell phone line they might use a voice a voice over ip line like oma let me show you some voice over ip stuff they might use uh, oma or they could use google voice or even like freedom pop so a problem with these type of uh, phone services that might have a, a text messaging is uh, they won't allow you to do, let's say, uh, SMS verification. Uh, they'll, they'll just flat out deny you, <clears throat> which is the case with Bing Rewards, Inbox Dollar, and I think even Twitter. So it, it can be annoying. Uh, there are alternatives. Let me see if I can show you. They have this thing called Text Verified. I'm not promoting it or anything. I just happened to find it while Googling. So you could use text verified, but it seems kind of pricey. Uh, this is for people who live in the United States. Uh, uh, I think people who live outside of the United States might want to use something like this because then they could bypass the USA restriction. So it, this does seem a little pricey. I can't find information about, you know, if I buy $5 worth of credit, what can it be used towards? So, um, the only thing I found is that, yeah, you can create a phone, you can set up a new phone line and the cost can be as low as $5 usually for one that's just for uh, phone and phone and text. The cheapest one I could find out of everything was this eBay plan with Red Pocket. It's only $2.50. I'm not promoting this either, although I do use it. I was just trying to find a, a cheap plan that I could use with Bing, Bing Rewards and Inbox Dollars or Swagbucks and for the SMX ver verification. And this happened to be usable. So um, if there's something cheaper, uh, please let me know. I'm curious about what's the solution because I've Googled this. You can see I've tried Googling to see if there's a alternatives to this and in the end for me two dollars and fifty cents a month isn't too bad even five dollars isn't too bad i'm pretty cheap but uh i think two dollars and fifty cents to me it's like it's like a burger or something and burger a month so it's not too bad anyways i just want to make a short video about this about how why some companies like this won't allow you to use voice over IP text just because someone might be out of the United States wanting to use this service. And so how can you bypass it? Well, not bypass it, but for people in the United States who want to use the service, 
uh, what other alternatives? Obviously, you could try to find a service like Text Verified. Or you can try to find the cheapest way of getting a phone line. And for me, this was the cheapest alternative. So I don't know if this is going to help anyone, but I just want to make a video about that. Like, it would be nice if they just allowed voice over IP because I have OMA. And there's been a lot of times where I didn't realize that because I had voice over IP, I couldn't use it to get a service because they wouldn't allow the text verification and um, it was kind of annoying so same thing with freedom pop i didn't know that was voice over ip phone line and so if i'd known that i wouldn't have tried it out but i tried it out it was okay but i i prefer actual phone line just because you can't actual you know phone service through a smartphone or even probably not landline because it's so expensive but Anyways, that's my short video.